Thailand is amazing. Known to tourists as the land of smiles, the culture and people are warm and inviting. Bangkok, the capital of Thailand, is the largest city with an estimated population of 9 million people. There is a mix of modern and Thai traditional culture everywhere. You are likely to see monks walking down the streets and beautiful ornate temples. The BTS Skytrain is a sign that Thailand is moving Bangkok into a full-blown modern metropolis. I came to Thailand for the first time in March 2008 to get certified to teach English as a second language. I did that for about two years. I actually met my wife the first time I was here, and she ended up going to the States three months after we started dating. I followed her home ten months later, and then we were married t a year after that. Now we've returned to Thailand, where I'm currently an English teacher teaching Japanese children at a Japanese kindergarten. This is Pearlie, the love of my life. She is an early childhood education major working at an international school here in Bangkok. We also live with our Cupcake. Cupcake is our Maltese Terrier. She is our... Thailand has many beautiful forests and beaches to visit and we like to go when we can. Camping is one of our favorite things to do. The weather is so much cooler in the forest and the sights are amazing. We really love waterfalls and getting our feet a bit wet. It's a lot of fun. My wife isn't your typical Thai. She is part of the Chinese ethnic minority I be lovingly call Chinese. Up to 14% of people are ethnic Chinese. Many Thais have some Chinese blood too. The monarchy even contains Chinese lineage. Three recent prime ministers have been ethnic Chinese too. Needless to say, the Chinese people have had a profound effect on Thailand and are known for being the most well-integrated Chinese minority in Southeast Asia. You will find the Chinese population in Thai cities where they are usually thought of as business people. That is where we are going to get a better look at these people who I now call my family. right over there and uh, there's a Chinese temple over here. This area here is actually pretty Chinese, like a minority area. And uh, they're doing some kind of little opera thing, so we're gonna go check it out. This Chinese drama is wholly Chinese and has nothing to do with traditional Thai culture. Hosted in a local temple, People came to enjoy the Chinese language drama along with free food. It may have been free, but most people brought a small donation for the temple. This shows the strong sense of community among the ethnic Chinese. Even though this is a Chinese tradition, many Thais practice Chinese rituals and traditions also. This is because even though they are ethnic Thais, many of them do have some Chinese lineage. Some estimate that between 20 to 30 percent of ethnic Thais have Chinese blood somewhere in their lineage. To get a better understanding of this ethnic minority, we're going to venture out into Chinatown, known as Yawala.
go to one of I and my wife's favorite places, and uh, that's going to be Chinatown, also known in tires, Yawela. So, let's go. I'm going to buy some orange juice law. So we are off of the busy Bangkok, crossing the treacherous streets. Now we're ready to get on our bus and go to Yawala. We're going to check out the market while we're there and see what it has. When we get to Chinatown, you see lots of billboards and signs written in Chinese. This is very different from what you see in the rest of Thailand. And you really have a sense that this is not your normal Thailand. What is Som Tam? Som Tam is this is what I've heard of Som Tam. It's a green papaya salad, right? Yeah. It's very famous. Yeah, it's very famous in Thailand. can be quite spicy. What about these? These are all the... This is a how has seaweed. It looks like hair, This is seaweed? Yeah. Jing Ha. What do you make with that? Oh, really? So this is taro. How do you what do you do with this? Uh you do many things. You do seeds, you do with uh do with the food. Mostly if you do it like the dish for Chinese. Yeah. But People only do butt sweet, butt yeah, like, uh, what is it? They make like a ball with it and they fry it and they have a sweet sauce that goes with it. Poor cod. Yeah, you can do that. Duck feet. Really? Uh -huh. Really? Like, uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh. So what have you found now? Here? Yeah. I found two. That one over there? It's like a, a bun. Uh-huh. And when I was young, my grandma used to make it. Really? Yeah. So with you, you explained to me. What is this they're doing here? So they're doing the noodles with the... What's with the duck? Oh, they have a duck noodle too, so you can choose 
Christmas tree, we got our Christmas decorations, and we're ready to go. Are you ready, sweetie? That's a good day. Okay, go. Because everything we wanted, and we are so happy. So much. Yay. About what I call what it means to be Chinese. I mean, it's not authentic Chinese either. But it's just mixed and it's just so well integrated into the Thai culture that Chinese people are really just Thai people. And even some Thai people practice it. So it's a really neat experience getting to know about the culture of my new family. <laughs> 